Mother, I need your advice about something. What is it? Carrie is wanting me to choose between her and Laura soon. I asked her to wait maybe a year or so. Is that reasonable to you? Actually, no I don't think so. Lucy told me a couple of weeks ago that Carrie tried to use a dating website service to find her a boyfriend and she ended up meeting a much older man. Lucy drove the creep away before he could do anything to Carrie. Oh, my. So she was thinking of dumping me? Then why would she ask me to make a total commitment to her now? I am confused. I think she is just frustrated that you can't seem to make up your mind about something that seems obvious. I can tell you that if I were in your place, I would have already chosen Carrie. Do you remember when she first came to this town? She immediately stood up for you even when people like Miss Jenkins and Laura were tormenting you every day in school. You and Carrie fought together to stop the discrimination against atheists and LGBT people. After your father was killed, Carrie comforted you, and when she almost died by suicide, you comforted her, and you comforted her again after her grandmother died. You two have been through hell together. And I consider Jessica and Lucy, Carrie's mothers, to be like my sisters. By contrast, I don't feel close to Laura's mother at all. I'm sure Laura has some good qualities, but Carrie is simply the better choice. She is both incredibly strong and beautiful, inside and out, and when you two are together, it is clear that you complete each other. Then I know what I have to do, but it's going to break my heart, along with Laura's. We still love each other, so much. I know, but I have an idea that might make things easier for all of you. Laura, I'd like to invite you to another date with me at the Tuscany Tavern this Saturday. Sure. I love eating there. Actually, I love going almost anywhere as long as I am with you. Debbie, what's wrong? I just remembered, Carrie is working there now as a cook. Is that a problem for you? No, why would it be? Okay, if you say so. Welcome back to the Tuscany Tavern. What can we get you? I will have a small pepperoni pizza and a glass of Dr. Pepper. And I will have spaghetti and meatballs with some apple juice. You wanted something else? Is Carrie working in the kitchen? If so, I need to talk to her. Can this wait? Her shift ends in about an hour. No. I need to get this over with. Tell her to come see me, please. If this is what it looks like, should I leave first? No, Laura, this is as much about you as it is about Carrie and me. You both need to be here so I can endure this situation just once. All right, Debbie, I am here. What did you want to talk about? I want you and Laura both to know that I still love you with all my heart, and ending a love partnership with either one of you is indeed heartbreaking. But for all our sakes, I must end this three-way relationship and have us only have a two-way relationship and that means that you, Laura, cannot be one of the two. I have finally decided once and for all that Carrie is to be the love of my life, the only one I can dedicate myself to in every way imaginable. That is why I invited you here tonight, Laura. This is a breakup date. A breakup date? Yes. I could have simply dumped you with a phone call or a text message, but it is because I care for you so much that I felt that telling you the truth to your face after one last outing together would be best. Please. Please don't be angry at me. This is so hard. Oh, Debbie. I am not angry at you. Disappointed, yes, but I am still grateful for you being so loving to me. Maybe I was just coming at you so strong, because I was trying to compensate for having hurt you so much years ago. But instead I only made another problem for you. Can I hug you one last time? Thank you. Now I will leave and go home. Alone. Laura, I'm sure Debbie didn't want to hurt you. If you want. You may punch me out and I won't hit you back at all. No, Carrie. First, you don't deserve for me to beat you up again. And second, 
Doing that won't make me feel better. I will just let Debbie go and move on. Debbie is such a beautiful and sweet soul. Don't ever take her for granted, Carrie. I won't. Good night. Carrie, why aren't you in the... Oh, never mind. I'm sorry, Mother Lucy, but can you please give us a few minutes? You know what, just go ahead and take Debbie home now. Mrs. Bentley, Michael, and I can handle things here. <laughs>